He was the international fundraising hero who provided hope at the height of the pandemic. Captain Tom Moore raised more than £32 million pounds for the NHS. Happy birthday, Captain Tom's early grandpa. He turned 100 during lockdown, was knighted for his efforts, and by his side throughout his daughter, Hannah Ingram Moore. You, you can't just start halfway. You start at the beginning. But she is now facing serious questions after BBC Newsnight uncovered evidence that a family company received money for her appearances in connection with the charity. I'm delighted to be here at Ashton Vale Club for Young People to give them the third Virgin Media O2 Captain Tom Foundation Connector Award. In 2021 and 2022, Hannah Ingram Moore helped judge a scheme to reward community projects. The name of the awards included the name of the charity, the Captain Tom Foundation. The charity's logo appeared on the plaques. The legacy that my father has left not only this country but the world. Hannah Ingram Moore gave every appearance that she was representing the charity. At the time, she was its interim chief executive on a salary of £85,000. And yet her significant appearance fee was paid not to the Captain Tom Foundation, but to Matrix Group, a company owned by Hannah Ingram Moore and her husband Colin. BBC Newsnight understands Mrs Ingram Moore has been under investigation by her late father's own charity for nine months, as she did not seek the board's approval before entering into that commercial arrangement with Virgin Media O2. A spokesperson for the trustees said, this matter is subject of an ongoing internal investigation. The Charity Commission has been notified of the Foundation's review of this matter, and the Foundation will share its findings once the investigation has concluded. Some with experience of small charities are concerned how this could affect them. I think it potentially has a huge impact for small charities because we're at a time where so many people are facing so many pressures on their finances that choosing to give to a charity is a choice that can be hard for a lot of people at the moment. And if they don't do that because they don't have trust in where their money might end up, I think it's going to cause huge problems for those small charities who are the lifeblood of communities right across the country. Virgin Media O2 have confirmed the payment, but not the amount. They said in a statement, when payment was made, we were not aware of any concerns about Matrix or the Captain Tom Foundation that have since come to light after our campaign and relationship with Captain Tom finished. We asked Hannah Ingram Moore to respond to these allegations. She emailed, you are awful. It's a total lie. Six minutes later, she added apologies. That reply was for a scammer who has been creating havoc. She has not answered any of our questions about the thousands of pounds her company received. Meanwhile, the Charity Commission has been investigating potential conflicts of interest between the Captain Tom Foundation and the Ingram Moore's companies for more than a year. Hannah Ingram Moore is no longer running the charity, but her husband Colin is one of its three trustees. And the Charity Commission has been investigating for more than a year whether those trustees have adequately managed conflicts of interest, including with private companies connected to the Ingram Moore family. Meanwhile, Hannah and Colin Ingram Moore own consultancy company Matrix, which received the payment from Virgin Media O2. They also own Club Nook, the company which controversially registered the trademarks to Captain Tom, something the Charity Commission is also investigating. Separately, the couple are fighting a demolition order after building an unauthorised home spa complex at their Bedfordshire home. Their initial plans had been for a Captain Tom Foundation building, but the independent trustees have since said they had no knowledge of the charity's name being used in the planning application. This house was the setting for a remarkable charitable effort which captured the world's imagination. But now it's the focus of a series of questions about whether Hannah Ingram Moore and her husband benefited from what appeared to be charitable activity. The tens of millions of pounds Captain Tom raised for the NHS are not part of any investigation. But his legacy could now be tarnished by the actions of his daughter. And